Hey dear friends, welcome back again. We are so happy you popped over again to see what we are up to today. Of course, for everyone who is new here, welcome. We are Yanni and Diane and we hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, of course, we hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone who is here and is not subscribed to our channel, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and tick the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. Like we always say, enough talking, let's jump in today's inspiration. Hey everyone, it's Diane here. Welcome. And if you're new, welcome to our channel. If you've already been here, welcome back. You know, we love, Jenny and I love to craft with these, Jenny, my mother-in-law and I. And uh, these are the packages that we buy online for three euros for each package. We buy them at some sort of online party shop where you can get party articles, but also games. And uh, we pay uh, three euros for 45 pieces. And then you get these pieces. Today I want to make some sort of planter with you and therefore I'm going to glue a lot of blocks together like this. Therefore I use my glue gun because they're not under super much tension and uh, yeah we're going to use other blocks. I'm going to stack them like so. I will show you. Layer here, then one layer up here. Yeah, but they got to, you know, be raised. And then you have another layer. Like so. Yeah, they start falling down. But that's what I'm going to do. And therefore, I will need quite a lot of blocks. So I'm going to grab the glue gun. It's fully charged. I have one with the battery and you can charge it via this UVC, USB-C port here. Oh, yeah. Also got some extra glue sticks. These ones. These uh, both are from Little, and yeah, Little uses these really small glue sticks. Apparently, bigger ones with a bigger diameter don't fit in this glue gun. So that is for stash. Let's go. I have quite a bunch of these doubles right now and I already started here because what I did I just put glue on the wood glue here on the parts of the edge there and I'm going to glue these all the way up until this stack is done and I'm switching over to this stack here so you can get five on each side and the wood glue that I use is from ooh, Big Dripper, the brand ah, Miss Potex. Don't know if it's a Dutch brand or another kind of brand, but they sell it here at the Action Shop, similar to Dollar Tree, but down in the Netherlands. And the quality is uh, perfect. The only thing that I always forget is put the cap on when you're done with gluing. So. Regularly, I need to grab myself a needle to crack the whole thing open, the nozzle. There we go. And that's a good thing about using the wood glue. I'm still able to move around the, the parts that I need to glue. Because you got to work pretty precise to make it look neat. And then we go to the corners again and repeat the steps. There we are. But once you put this up, everything starts moving. And that is pretty annoying. Maybe I just need to fix that at the end. I think that's the best idea. And I keep the bottle storage upside down so that there is always glue available but as you can see sometimes that's not so handy well i'm going to continue building this tower until it's high enough and then i'm going to do the other one as well hey 
these two are done, let them dry. I'm going to make the ground, you know, plate surface where everything will be standing on. And I measured. This is six blocks. And uh, if I want to place them there with some space be in between, then I should use um, five blocks for the whole thing. So I think I do five, yeah, five long and six or seven deep. I think at first try six. If I still find that it needs to be seven, I can always make one extra roll, but that's for later. So first grab, grab the glue gun. I'm going to build um, five long and six deep. I'm not going to bother you with that because it will take a long time for me to finish. And this also has to dry for I think at least an hour, maybe longer, because I want everything to be secure. And the only parts where I put uh, the wood glue are in the corners. And yeah, the joints are with uh, these joints here, of course, with the glue gun. No big deal because there isn't that much of tension, but they're safe and sorry. You don't want your DIY to fall apart while you're crafting. Here's the plaque. I did six and I'll see how it looks because this was the idea. So I think I'm going to turn it like so. I think that the ground part then suits, fits in better. Uh, yeah, this way. Are we happy with this? Oh, well, it looks pretty cool to me. But if we want, just for trying, I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but I will show you. We can add an extra roll of these blocks. So you can do a little bit more like this. However, now I see it, I think that's quite a good idea. Or does it look weird? Hmm. Maybe then it becomes too big. Yeah, the, this is just a question of, or, or case of what, whatever you like. Do whatever you like. I mean, take it in, take it out. Totally up to you. Yeah, I think I'll take it out. I don't, uh, yeah, that's my taste. I don't like that there are edges there. So what we're going to do then is start gluing these parts here. So grab your glue again. Now you may use a lot of glue. Because the weight that will is resting upon these glue joints is a little bit higher than it wasn't only the corners. There we are. And then you just simply put these into the right position. Like so. You can always, if you prefer, put a heavy object upon it. Like a book or something. To let everything set in or just give it a nice press. That works well, too. Not too, don't push too hard, of course. See if there's any glue that needs to be wiped away. Well, not even that much, I think. You can use your finger, a damp cloth, paper, whatever you prefer. This already looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, look how cute this looks. I really love it. I also want to add a little bit more details and therefore I have these wooden beads that I also got from Action and I want to use some here and maybe also got to turn it upside down which is safe to do now because the glue is really dry. Let's just do something here or maybe you can also do that if you're really enthusiastic add beads just like so. Make sure that where the holes are you put them against the wood, not like this, because you're going to see it and it doesn't look so stable. Or it doesn't look, it isn't stable. There, and then you can go also all the way here. That is totally up to you. I'll be using the glue gun to attach these. And after that, it is time, I think, for the paint job of this DIY. Pick a color you like. I will just use plain white paint from the construction market. 
but you can do any kind of paint of your choice or a varnish or a stain totally up to you and, oops outline is a little bit better just to see how it looks a little bit more a little bit closer for, to the edge this way Work is done and I was a little bit clumsy just turning the back part around to glue the other side yeah there are a lot of spider webs here I'm going to remove them soon and uh, <laughs> I forgot that the parts that I let, let down on the side here are these ones that they weren't glue yet so beads everywhere managed to pick up some but it's still a mess around here I'm going to clean that get rid of those spider webs and then I think we can start painting I also love that there are now blocks upon our blocks beads oh oops need to redo that one that's weird i think it just didn't glue enough i only see one small piece of glue around here we'll fix that anyway what i wanted to say i love that there are now uh, eight beads upon the top section let me just quickly glue this now the glue gun is still hot there we go. Here, these beads. I think they have a really great addition to the design. And uh, as I said, I'm going to paint. I'll pick white paint just from the construction market. Here I have a big can of paint and a brush. I will use the flat one this time because I think that is easier to get here in between these parts. There we go. there this took me a lot more time than I expect that I spent almost 30 minutes painting I believe but however now it is done let it dry and I think that the bottom part already is dry that's how long I did today about this paint job um, I might go here and there oh here this isn't done pretty properly I might go here and there a little bit more I'm going to add a little bit more paint because I think that the coverage isn't so good on each part. There. Looks pretty cute now that it's white. What do you think? Okay, I'll let it dry. Then I'm going to start decorating it. Just put some flowers in there, actually greenery. And uh, last thing I want to do is I have these wooden letters here. I want to write down joy here in the center. Therefore, we'll need the glue gun. And I'll just start by gluing the first letter. Well, let's say up to here. Oh no, may I, I might do it in the center. Let's see, where's the center? Here, or may, maybe a little bit more forward. Here or something. Just add some glue from the hot glue gun. You can also use wood glue if you prefer that. And hold it for a few seconds until the glue is dry. And I want to put the J in there too. So let's put some glue in there as well. And repeat the step that we just did with the eye. And hold for a few seconds. Then the O is the last one that we need to put in there. There we go. And just that slightly let it rest in front of the other letters. And there we are. Joy. Well, ain't this a cutie? Let us know what you think about this DIY. Very versatile, you can make it for every kind of season. Put Christmas tree in and then you have it for Christmas. Do it your way.